Hey, what's up my BGA crew? Welcome back to my channel. So today you guys, I am at one of my favorite restaurants here in Phoenix, Arizona. It is called Great Wall Cuisine. And I'm here with my niece, Mariah. Hi guys. And the beautiful mama appetite in the background. <laughs> so right here, you guys, we have the soy sauce chow mein noodles. Right here, we have the house egg foo young. Oh yeah. And then we have the salt and peppered Salt and pepper fried cod. It has garlic and jalapenos, you guys. It's about to go down. Mm -hmm. My mouth is watering or whatever. Let's go ahead and get started because I am still wow big. Bless this meal and the hands I prepared it. May you provide for those going without. Heal, bless, protect, and provide for all of my BGA crew and everyone watching. In your precious heavenly name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. All right. Ma, andale. Serve yourself. Oh, we have a, a bowl of white rice over here. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. We got chili Easy on noodles. the noodles. Oh. Yes. Mm -hmm. so good, so good. Okay. We got chili on deck, and surprisingly, we didn't have to deck someone in the face. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, we didn't have to fight for the chili today. Oh, huh? oh my goodness! I cannot wait to, to dig in. And of course, you know it's not great wall without their their chili oil. The chili oil is. I made his balls. I'm about to start screaming at this restaurant. <laughs> okay. Egg for young. This is the egg for young. Mm. It's for a young fool. <laughs> I like the fish that they put in here. A oh, squid. The swirly thing. Yeah. It looks like a swirly. You want a whole one or half? Uh, I'll take a half. Okay. Mom, you want the other half? Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Mom, no plate. Okay. A reba teba. A reba teba. Some veggies and some broth. A gravy. What do you like? Uh, yeah, I got a bit of that. Oh, look, there's another one right there. Oh, you don't like it? <laughs> I think I've tried it once. I, I do like it. Can I have the vinegar one? The water girl? We love vinegar. There you go. Sorry. You yeah. like scallops? Yeah. Okay. You're welcome. Let me get a piece of this chicken. And then I want some broccoli. You want vinegar? Okay. Can I get some fish? Fish? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, so I come through with this chili oil all over. Just put it all over. And then we love the red wine vinegar. Oh yeah, we go crazy for that. Here we go. Oh, oh, look at that bite right there, guys. Look at that. Mm. Good. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. If you guys come here, you gotta get this fish. Mmm. Mmm. My goodness. Mm. This is Chinese fish and chips. Literally. Well, no chips, but. Mm. Bite of this. Uh, wow. Let's try the noodles. Let's try the doo -doos. Amazing. Mm -hmm. I 
So what I'm going to do is take this chili, I mean this <laughs> fish, load it up with chili. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can put some fish in your chili. <laughs> right. Mm. There are so many things on the, on the menu here too that I want to try. Mind you, I've been eating here my whole life. But we always usually come and get what we know. For those of you that are familiar with this restaurant, what do you recommend? Other than what I always normally get. Sorry. No, you're good. When we first got here, it was quiet. Super mm -hmm. quiet. I don't last time because this place is bomb. Mm -hmm. It's popular. Right. I was trying to think of a story time to have for today. I was gonna say it, but it's a little rated R. Mm. <laughs> The reason why I was going to talk, uh, talk about this topic is because last night on my Instagram live, we we're talking about college because um, a couple of the viewers were saying that they're almost done with college and they're doing finals right now and all that fun stuff. And so we just started talking about the whole vibe. College was so fun for me a lot of hard work but fun I guess I'll just tell this story so I don't know what happens to me but when I get a little tipsers all of a sudden the female physique this becomes very attractive to me. <laughs> so, um, I had this friend. I had met her in school. And at the time, my friend Diane, she had this little apartment. It was right in College Town, right down the street from where I went to school. And we were always at the pool till like four or five in the morning. They had no restrictions. So I invited her, my friend. It was me, Diane, her ex, this girl, and a couple other friends, and sometimes my nephew and his wife. So we'd all like get it's here, whatever. And as soon as everybody started leaving, it would always be Diane, her ex-wife, me, and my friend. 
in the in the hot tub. Mm, hot tub. So all of a sudden we started playing Truth or Dare. And of course, I get dared, you kiss her. Let me guess, the stiffers. Uh-huh, you already know the stiffers. So there I go. Like a beluga whale. <laughs> I swim across the hot tub. And I roll up on her. And she wanted it too. She's like, you know? <laughs> and I'm like, do you want to make out? And she's like, yes. I'm, I'm like, okay, she consents. So anyway, <laughs> we're both tipsy and we just start making out. And then all of a sudden she takes it to the next level. <laughs> <laughs> my mom. I look at my mom. So she takes it to the next level. And I'm like, whoa. So I said, okay. Let me see what this is about. So I too reciprocate this, we'll just call it fondle. <laughs> and uh, anyway. She's gone We have baby Gladys here too. So then, uh, it was intense. We made out and did that for probably like Sorry, 20, 30 minutes. I no, I'm no. <laughs> like 20, 30 minutes. And then she whispers in my ear, let's go back to the apartment. And I'm like, oh, heck no. <laughs> so at this point, I'm already like, kind of like blacking out. Like, you know, I'm so, t I'm so tipsy. I told Diane, I was like, I'm drunk, like whatever, take me back to the apartment. So they walk me back to the apartment. They, the, this is the last thing I remember. Diane sits me down on the couch, and then I went, Ugh. and I was out. Diane made me a whole cup of noodles, everything, I couldn't eat it. So the next morning, I wake up with some memory of what was transpiring that night, that the night before, and Diane's like, Tiff, once she leaves, I got a story to tell you. And I'm like, okay. I was so scared. You're probably like, I kept asking Diane, am I gonna be a father? <laughs> I'm weak. <laughs> am I gonna be a dad? Diane's like, wait, we'll talk. So she leaves. Diane's like, Tiff, you left this girl in heat. Oh. In heat. I said, why? What happened? Did She's like, kid, she was so terca, persistent. I was blowing up the blow up mattress for you in the living room. And she's like, and we were going to do a tendido, like a little camp out in the room with the girl. So Diane, her ex-wife and her. And um, she's like, I started blowing up the blow up mattress for you. Crazy for the baby. Um, Mommy has seafood. Mm, yeah, yeah, don't give her any. True. She could have an allergy. Yeah, okay, I So. So anyway, Diane's like, Tiff, I laid you on that blower mattress and she laid right next to you. And I told her, uh-uh, girl. Come on, we're going to the room. We're going to do a, a little camp out for you on the floor. And she's like, no, I want to sleep with him. And Diane said she was persistent. She argued with her for 10 minutes. I'm going to sleep here with him. I'm going to sleep here with him. And she's like, no, leave him be. He, he's going to sleep on the blow mattress alone. Diane's like, if I didn't look out for you and have your back, she probably would have climbed on top of you. <laughs> and rode you like a, like, a, like a stallion or something. That's a true friend. Yeah. I said, good looking out. Cause that would have been all bad. Right. Imagine Correct. nine months later, <laughs> you are the father. Oh, that'd be cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be so cute.
Let's just say that's the last time I got wasted with that girl. Mm. I'm like, she was planning to was make her way. Mm -hmm. There's a friendship? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hers was trying to have her way with me. <laughs> It's not over. But Diane got my back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. Wow. This is some delicious fish. I'm full. I am too, but we were so hungry. That's why. That's the one thing I hate about starving all day for a meal. Because for whatever reason, it like shrinks your stomach or something. I don't know, but I can't eat a lot when I do that. Me either. So I have to have it's almost four. This is my first meal of the day, 4 p.m. Is this your first meal too? Yours too, huh? Oh, all of us. Busy day. Mm -hmm. I want to go to the Asian market right now. And I want to buy some uh, some pork feet because I want to make crispy pata. And then I want pork belly. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this was delicious. It was absolutely delicious. If, if you guys come here, I suggest ordering this salt and pepper cod. Right? Mm -hmm. Super, super. Can super I get a polo bao? Thank you. Just one order. Thank you. Oh, thank you. And if you eat it with, with white rice, it's good too. Yeah. And there's like a uh, fried pieces of garlic with jalapenos. <laughs> jalapenos. <laughs> and green onions, right? And yeah. Green, yeah. Really good. <laughs> so they don't normally have the the bolo bao after three? Only two pieces? Okay. All right. Thank you. Oh, cool. So what happens is after 3 p.m., they stop selling dim sum. But whatever they have left over, whether it's chabegos, bolo bao, uh, gaime bao, or whatever, custard. Or the custard, they um, sell it for a reduced price um, for you. So this is my favorite, the bolo bao. This is the pineapple buns. You want one? You want a bite, ma? I'm Mariah from the Yeah, get your Christmas. Just a little tiny. Mariah, you invited Mariah. You invited Mariah. You invited Mariah. Ooh, I don't mind. That's why I said Mariah's because I mm -hmm. know. Oh, my God. It's filled with custard inside. And what's on the top here? It kind of it's like, like a Mexican pan dulce on the top. I was going to say kind of like a concha, huh? Uh -huh. A little bit, but like mm -hmm. a little bit more uh, crispy. Mm -hmm. mm. It's good, guys. You know, it's getting hollow on the inside. I know, it's, it looks hollow, but there's um, custard in it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh man, this is so good. This is really good. This is my favorite. Mm. And then the... And what's the other one that's open? Mm -hmm. Wow. Try to come before 3 from what 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. They sell these. They sell out fast, so come early. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised they even had this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Last time, they were all sold out. Mm -hmm. It was a bummer. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Man. 
That's the best. One of the best pan dulces ever. Sweet bread. Mm. So good. Mm -hmm. Well, as usual, mm -hmm. I give this place a 10 out of 10. You guys gotta come try it. It's worth it. Hot chili oil. Uncomparable. Oh my God. You know what? There's another dim sum place. When I went and did that, um, that sponsorship with Visit Mesa. Down in Mesa, yeah. there's another dim sum place that I hear is spectacular. Mm. Yeah. I'm gonna go try it. I know. So y'all better stay tuned because we're gonna try a new uh, dim sum place. Anyway, want to say anything before we go? You know what to do. <laughs> like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. What she said. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, besitos.